Good morning, Del Oro. I'm Chris Robinson. And I'm Noelle Cian. And this is your news. To start off today's news, we'll revisit Battle for Veterans. Here's a recap. Whether you choose to go to the military, the choose to go to college, or you choose to be a bum, make sure that you're happy in what you do. There are spying heroes sitting amongst in your classes, on your teams, and there are also heroes standing in front of those classes, and behind the whistle on the athletic field. And give a warm dollar welcome to those who have sacrificed to preserve our freedoms and have dedicated their lives to keep our nation strong, our military veterans. That was awesome. So far, Zach LeVar has been the only one to donate money. So get out there and make your school proud. Del Oro is also supporting the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society with our upcoming fundraiser, Penny for Patients. The school even benefits from your donation. Yeah, the top donating class gets a prize. And the top donating school in the area could receive massive donations of new school and sports equipment. Wow, that is a great opportunity. It's great for our community, too. Hey, do you know how much a polar bear weighs? Um, I don't know. A lot. <laughs> Enough to break the ice. Nice. Hey, guys, you can use that one to ask your date to junior prom. Yeah, here's more information on it. Are you going to go to junior prom? Yeah, why not? It's free for seniors. Sounds like fun. In other news, spring sports have officially started preseason and practices are in full swing. League games and meets start later this month and every team needs support. And if you're looking for somewhere to go after the games, go to Taylor's. Here's Kylie Lyons with a scoop on this delicious roadside burger joint. Here at Del Oro, students are working hard to do well in all their classes. But after a hard day's work, there's nothing like a burger and shake from the one and only Taylor's. Pat Taylor and his wife Suzanne, they're the owners. And as far as I know, um, he wanted to open just an old-fashioned small place that really um, complements this uh, community of Loomis. It's definitely a really creative job too, especially coming up with new flavors. That's something that they love for us to do. I've been working at Taylor's for about eight months now and uh, it's been a lot of fun. For many students at Del Oro, Taylor's isn't just a restaurant, but a place where they can come after school to relax and grab a bite to eat with friends. I think Taylor's is really popular because um, Loomis is such a great atmosphere and uh, the people are great. Um, it's a nice place for us teens to hang out, I guess. <laughs> it's fun to be around. So the next time you're trying to figure out where to eat, make sure to think Taylor's. Reporting for Delaware News, I'm Kylie Lyons. Thanks, Kylie. That's where I'm going after school today. Me too. And you're buying. 
I'm definitely going to need some fuel for Casey testing next Tuesday and Wednesday. That's right. All you sophomores will be arriving at the normal time and taking the high school exit exam. But for all you freshmen, juniors, and seniors, school will start at 11.15. If your ride arrives early, there will be a designated waiting area before school starts. Again, that's 11.15 for everyone but sophomores. Good luck, sophomores. Do you know what aquaponics are? No, I don't, but I heard that the lettuce is supported in the cafeteria at lunch. Well, here's Ms. Dvorak with more. This is the aquaponics system that built by Pierre Beauchamp at uh, Delaro High School. Uh, as a sophomore, Pierre was at Plaster and came to me and asked if he could build a system in the greenhouse. He wanted to try and test his knowledge to see what he could, um, if he could do this project or not. So he started with a proposal and raised uh, $8,000 um, to build the system and he built it over the course of some time using student help. It took about a year to build the system all together, fundraising, and the project itself to build it took about two months of his time over summer vacation. What it is, is we have about 30, 35 catfish that um, we just feed and they live in here. Their, their, their waste contains um, ammonia, which the plants need the nitrogen from. There's no soil in the system. These three uh, pebble beds are uh, what we call ebb and flow beds. They fill up and they drain. Water from these three pebble beds flows to these three deep water culture beds um, where the water is aerated and passed through. Um, we are growing a couple types of herbs. Um, we've got some basil we're trying here, some kale, cabbage, cilantro, and then the lettuce harvests um, will go into the cafeteria every Thursday that we're able to to put our own lettuce into the cafeteria is really exciting. And so that's kind of why he wanted to, to see if he could do this, to test his knowledge, but he also wanted to see if he could um, get better food into the cafeteria locally grown and teach people how to, how to grow their own food pretty easy. Reporting for Delaro News, I'm Bronte Gould. Back to you. Well, it looks like that's all we have for today. I'm Noelle Sian. And I'm Kirsten Robinson. And you stay golden, Eagles.